What is going on YouTube? It is your traveling card puller here and we are back for another video. We are at home today, but we had grabbed these before we had left and we had made a couple of nice uh, Walgreens finds. Ended up going to two separate Walgreens. Uh, found these at one and have a whole bunch of the two pack of blisters we're gonna do for another video uh at the other and i know sometimes i like to do um those blisters as uh shorts but for the quantity that i got we're gonna do a full video on that one because it's good now last time i pulled these we had a case hit out of the uh the cut tops chrome hobby um these are the two pack mysteries uh from with the mj holdings right i think they are mj's uh they are from yeah mj holding so we'll have to see what our secondary pack is but it looks like we're always going to get one pack of hobby chrome but then i was found this one in the amongst which is a single factory seal pack and a mystery card per box um shows a couple of 2020 heritage shows 2022 series one and a couple of uh 2021 70 uh and or 70th anniversary cards so not really sure what's going to be in this particular box but we're going to check it out anyway um but yeah they were all ten dollars so hopefully we get something good we'll hold the uh hold that one off to the very very end here but we'll go ahead and start opening up these mystery boxes here and uh see what we're going to get out of these packs. Maybe we'll get the uh, mystery card as one of them one of these times. So, but we'll see. So we got our Topps Chrome and Alan Ginter out of the first one. I'm not going to keep the boxes up here this time. Uh, let's see. Second box. We have Alan and Ginter again. No extra card with our hobby pack. Yeah, I was uh, I was up in an area near Boonton, New Jersey. And that's where I found um, a couple of stores, a couple of Walgreens that weren't that far away from one another. Nothing of an extra car that I can see unless it's between, nope, the Ginter again. Looks like we're getting a lot of Ginter out of this one and uh picked up a bunch of the blisters because they had them and they were the uk blisters as well so i was like I was, I was happy but we'll be doing a second video on that one looks like no extra card out of that one so we're not beating the odds they say one in every four we're pushing five now for the extra card we didn't get an extra card out of those other packs as well. So not really sure where they're getting these one in every four boxes gets you an extra card. But there's our hobby. And there's our Ginter. So these, unfortunately, were all Ginter and hobby packs. So hopefully we get something nicer and different out of there. Let's open our hobbies first. Or not hobbies, our Ginters first and just get these out of the way. All right, 2022, we got Justin Crawford, or Brandon Crawford, sorry, Mon uh, Mariano Rivera, Brandon Nimmo. We have the Meatball Hero as a great uh, Get That Bread. It's an interesting card for an insert. We have a, looks like a black bordered feller. Is that uh, Bob Feller? It's the A and G backed version of that small card. Then we got a rookie card of Brandon Marsh for my Philadelphia Phillies now, but wearing his rookie Angels jersey. Nothing of great jumping out of value, but that's typically Ginter. Here we go. We got somebody different. Who is this? Oh wow, we pulled a nice one, Ro uh, Rodney Smith. Or, I'm sorry, Rodney Scott, which is a barbecue chef. But we pulled a patch game use memorabilia patch card out of the Ginter pack for Paul Goldschmidt. 
It says genuine tops Allen and Ginter relic card. Uh, features memorabilia from Star First Baseman for St. Louis Cardinals. Paul Goldschmidt. Not bad. Anytime we get a little bit of a hit like that, that's going to be worthy of showcasing there. So pretty good. Pretty good. I'll take that. We have a Clayton Kershaw pitching a gem. All right. We have a, a Jared Clinic mini card. Standard back on that one. And then we got Seiya Suzuki rookie card. Not bad. So good pack. I guess the odds are, you know, I don't know what the odds are for getting a relic out of uh, what looks like what looks to be retail. Uh, Allen and Ginter 2022, but that was a good find. Uh, Lance McCullers Jr. All right, we got a Chris Sale who's in, now wearing. Uh, the hated Atlanta Braves colors this year. Not going to be a fan to watch him a couple, you know, more times than I want to this year. Uh, what's that? Uh, Paul DeJean. Okay, we have a 2013 Cy Young winger, Clayton Kershaw, young faced Cy Young winner banner card. We have a full on black Bregman. There you go. Definitely take that. That's a more rare version of that particular mini card. And then was this Austin Meadows? Yep, Austin Meadows uh, for the D Tigers. All right, let's keep it moving. All right. Let's see, we started this pack off with a Joe Siri rookie card. Or Jose Siri, not Joe, Jose. Uh, is that Amos Otis? Uh, Zach Wheeler. We have an interesting banner season. I feel like that's a little different for Hank Aaron, but that could just be the look there. That's interesting. I like that. The card looks just, it didn't look like the same as the other one. We have a gold version of the mini card for Steve Carlton. It's not bad. And then Andre Dawson. For the Expos. I'll just compare it there. No, that's the way it looks. All right, it was just that particular, in the, you know, looked a little bit on the different side. It looked like I had more color to it. All right, last pack of Ginter. We've had some good Ginter this time. Only one, or a couple, or two oddball, or oddball I call them, but, you know, non-sports related cards. So we got Charlie Blackman. We got a Max Muncy. We have a, is that Bradley Zimmer? Okay. We have Bob Gibson pitching a gem. It's not a bad looking card there. We have a backwards. Okay. This will be interesting. Dave Concepcion. And then on the back, we have a. Um, what's that? Johan Doron, rookie card. Not sure why it's backwards. It is a AG back card. Oh, it's just backwards for no apparent reason. Okay, cool. All right. So there's our Ginter. Thought it was going to be signed or something. Signed mini cards are pretty, pretty good hits, but we'll have to take a look into those later and see if we have anything of true on value. All right, let's get to these hobby versions. Yep, hobby versions of Platinum Anniversary. Got told before that these probably come out of a light pack. So we have a uh, that mini diamond in the back there. Uh, James Caprion, uh, Capri, uh, Caprellian. There you go, rookie card. We have a Cody Whitley rookie card as well. Johan Oliveto, uh, uh, Aviedo. On the rookie card and this is a black and white of david ortiz not bad david ortiz mini diamond black and white take that it's a really nice looking card all right <clears throat> move on pack number two starts off with eddie rosario then we have a J Jerickson Profar. We have a Jim Rice. 
And this black and white mini diamond is a uh, Met, looks like. James McCann. Okay, not bad. Not as good as David Ortiz, but it's a mini diamond, black and white. So. Today. All right, this pack starts off with Jason Veritek. We have a Tommy John. We have an Austin Meadows. And this one is upside down. This one is a Yankee. Looks like an old school Yankee. It is a Whitey Ford. Okay, it's not bad. Whitey Ford on the mini diamond black and white. So we got a Met, we got a Yankee, and we got a, a Red Sox. I wonder what the next one's going to be. Hopefully it's something good like a case hit like we had before. So we got a Zach Wheeler. This one looks like it's just a refractor. We have Ken Griffey Sr., and junior, oh, look at that, back to back, dad and bro dad and son, not bad. That's a pretty cool looking, pretty tight, pretty cool uh, way that they did that pack. Then we have a regular refractor of Evan Longoria. Yep. <clears throat> All right, final pack out of those first five mystery packs, and mystery boxes. Open still for a case. It looks like we're just going to get another refractor out of this one. We have a Cave and Vigio. The standard David Ortiz, a Jazz Chisholm rookie, and a Hank Aaron refractor card. Okay. All right. Put that right up there. All right, Paul, you'll go here for now while we open up our final pack and see what we get. This one being only a single pack. It says you get one card and a sealed pack for mystery box. Okay, it is sleeved. That's good. Looks like our pack is going to be a Japanese tops pack. It is a Mickey Mantle card from 2021. Uh, looks like it's, yeah, 2021 Mickey Mantle replica card. Interesting. I'll take that. He is one of the goats, so not sure what series this is. Please let me know. I think it's just standard. I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's regular because this is in platinum. Platinum looks uh, similar, but I, I think it's just out of like a. I don't think it's heritage, but and then we got 2021 MPV. We're we're going to be looking for. Uh, Yamamoto in this particular pack, if we can. We'll start off with a Yoshida Ioti. Oh, wow, I got some stuff sticking to the chrome there. Yeah, Yoshio Ioti for the, uh, what's that? Uh, the Tigers, the Han, the Han Sin Tigers. We have a I'll put, put it over here. We have a Hisayoshi, uh, Hisa, uh, yeah, Hisayoshi Chono. Plays for the, looks like the Caps. I, I, I can't recognize, I don't recognize the league, but it looks like the Caps. We have uh, T. Okada. For the Buffaloes. And the final card is a refractor of Mizashi Ioti. Iho, uh, yeah. Ihot. Uh, Ita. Uh, I, uh, m yeah, Mashi Ita. For the Tigers as well. And that is a refractor, uh, labeled as a refractor. So, And it's his rookie card. 
All right, so they were the mystery packs this time around. Uh, give you a little quick pan down here. So this was the haul. Uh, beyond our black and white mini diamonds, we have a refractor Hank Aaron. We have a refractor Evan Longoria. Uh, we pulled out of the odd pack, which was a single card pack. We pulled a Mickey Mantle. Uh, 70th, uh, 2021 70th anniversary tops card and we got us a Paul Goldschmidt game used memorabilia card out of the mystery boxes so that was one of the bigger hits we have a gold Steve Carlton a black and uh, black bordered uh, Alex Bregman and yeah and then we have our refractors from our Japanese or Japanese pack that was in that other so there we go all right guys keep a lookout I mean we didn't get a case hit out of this one if unless you consider the the, the relic card a case hit and uh yeah other than that keep on looking for them check out my uh, next video it's gonna be it's gonna be a big one all right peace out guys thanks for subscribing thanks for all you who sit and watch these videos about me just opening some cards uh, and we'll have some bigger things to come down the road. So keep an eye out for it. All right. See you.